there will be re-election. The plan of God is for obedience to sit there. Destiny can be delayed, but it can never be denied. Some people come out and say, ah, why you are supporting obedience is because he has paid you. I have never seen obedience before. Even when I released his, the song by Obedient is coming. I did not know him by any means. I did not know him. Hello, beloved. Welcome back to Patreon Machane. I brought you an interesting video from Prophet Rose Obel. And this is what the woman of God has for the nation of Nigeria, especially the obedience. She said there will be re-election in Nigeria. And obedience is going to sit on that seat. So, guys, I'm not going to talk much at this point. I'm going to let you watch the video so that you hear what the woman of God has to say and what God has revealed to her to tell the nation of Nigeria. And she also urged us to go on our knees and pray. So I will not talk too much. I'll let you watch the video so that you hear what the woman of God has to say. Before I do that, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, share with family and friends so that you don't miss out on any of our content. And don't forget to turn on the post notification to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Here's the video, guys. There will be re-election. The plan of God is for obedience to sit there. Destiny can be delayed, but it can never be denied. Some people come out and say, ah, why you are supporting obedience is because he has paid you. I have never seen obedience before. Even when I released his, the song by obedience is coming, I did not know him by any means. I did not know him. I have never seen him. But what God is showing me in the realm of the spirit is what I am telling you. That is the plan of God. It can be delayed, but it will be fulfilled. I don't want you to stop praying for your country, Nigeria, because Nigeria is at the stage of Delma. And Nigeria will not see shame. My prayer is that Nigerian will end in praise no matter the storm. Nigerian is going to a shape where the wicked will be brought to book. I see shame coming for our politicians. Shame coming. A, 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 a world, a nation disgrace is coming for our politician. Pray concerning it. If you love Nigeria, pray very well. If you truly love your state in Nigeria, pray very well. I see protests. I see protests. And in this protest, they will start it in the name of Israelists fighting and killing the Palestinians. They will use the name of Israelists to start it in the northern state. That will resolve to impeachment. That will resolve. Even all the judges that judge this case. The Lord wants to visit them. Watch. None of them will survive. This shame. And this disgrace they put themselves. Because of money. Nigerians have become a country. Where you said your bet right because of money. Nigerians have become a country where you collect bribe to turn good for bad. But the Lord said, all the judges that judge this case, I am not supporting Tenebu, I am not supporting Obedient, neither am I supporting Atiko. I am only standing on what God said. And I'm not supporting the Houses, I'm not supporting the Yorubas, I'm not supporting the Igbos. But the law say judgment is coming for every judge that have judged this case. Remember, you will spend your eternity in hell. Hell is real. Heaven is real. You might have declared it because of you have been bribed. But put it in your mind that no one passed God. God is just giving you people time to change. But since you people refuse to change, mark my word. God can never throw my word down. I am called by God. I did not call myself. Mark my word. In the next 90 days, 
Judgment is coming for everybody that his hand is involved in the rigging of this election. I don't care if you want to come for me, come for me, but only if you can kill God, you can kill me. If you kill me, you can kill my soul. If you kill me, you can you can you can you can you can only kill the body, you cannot hurt the spirit. If I die now, I gain because I loved God. If I die now, I did not lose because I am doing the will of God. People are dying of hunger. People are crying out there. Mothers are dying of hunger, committing suicide. And you turn our country, the country we used to, the country that is only in elect, selection, no longer election. Nigerian is the giant of Africa. And it will still remain the giant of Africa. But take note, every wicked soul in Nigeria is going down. From now, mark it. 90 days. Vengeance is for God. If you love God, you don't need to fight this period. Go on your knees. Pray for your country. And Nigerian is blessed. In Jesus' name, amen. So beloved, you all hear what the woman of God has said and what God revealed to her concerning the nation of Nigeria and what is going to happen in the coming month. As you all know, a lot of prophecies has been given concerning 2024 and there's something she says that got me. She says that she doesn't know obedience. She doesn't know Peter Obi because a lot of people are accusing her that, oh, you're being paid to, to, to say things that will favor him. You're being paid to talk good about him. God didn't reveal anything to you. And there's something she says that got me. She says she doesn't even know him from Adam. Likewise, was she, likewise is she being paid for what she is saying. This is what God Almighty has revealed to her to tell his people. And she's not going to stop there. She's going to continue to share the word of God. She's going to review what God has said to her to tell his people. And she also says something that is very, very interesting. She said Nigeria is the giant of Africa. No evil leader is going to dim our light will continue to be the giant of Africa no matter what. And she also went forward to say that those court cases that was being judged wrongly, that God is going to punish them severely, those judges, and you should watch. In the next 90 days, things are going to start happening in Nigeria. And she also made us to understand that God will not forsake his people, but we should go down in prayer on our knees and ask God that let your will be carried out. If Peter Obi is meant to take us to our next level as a nation, let your will be done. And she also emphasized on there will be re-election in Nigeria. As you all know, what happened in 2023, February, and when the result was announced and Nigeria went so gaga and all that. And she went for that to still explain to us that God has not given up on Nigeria. It's not over until it is over. And we should also pray for Nigeria because there will be a lot of hunger in Nigeria this period and a lot of people are committing suicide because of what is happening in Nigeria and we shouldn't just close our mouth. We should pray and make sure that God's will is carried out in Nigeria. As you all know, a lot has happened in Nigeria in previous months and all those things so we should continue to pray and we should not say that oh this leader let them do or let them be there he doesn't consign us he doesn't like no they have been there already there's nothing anybody can do to remove them she says that the hand of god is going to remove them forcefully from that seat so we shouldn't like just Hold our hands and watch. And she also says that we should pray for Nigeria because things are going to happen. And this hunger strike that is coming, as you all know, this 2024, a lot of prophecies has been dropping back and forth concerning hunger strike in Nigeria. A lot of famine is going to happen in Nigeria. See, I don't know what is happening to our nation because Nigeria is just losing its let me see like let me see nigeria is just that part of soup that 
enough water has been added to it it has lose its taste the only thing you can see you say oh this soup is a goosey or is a bono but the way water is being poured on it it has lose its natural taste completely that is how nigeria is right now our evil leaders has changed the fate of Nigeria completely. But what can we do rather than to pray to God that please God should change our situation? God, let the will of God be carried out. We want change and honestly we are seeking, we are crying for this change so bitterly and let the will of God be done in our nation. So guys, I'm not going to talk too much at this point i just want to know your thoughts your opinion at the comment section what do you feel like after hearing what the woman of god has said please let me know your thoughts what is going through your mind let me just know drop it at the comment section below and please if you have not subscribed to part my channel what are you waiting for i want you to be part of this lovely family just subscribe turn on the note Turn on the post notification to get notified whenever we upload a new video. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Stay blessed. Bye for now.